Hey guys, so uh, after nine months of having it, I finally decided to do a review of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. So let's uh, just dive right in. We are here today with future famous YouTuber Rainy Roches. It's a pleasure to be here, Sean. It's a pleasure. We have my new, well it's not new anymore, I've had it for nine months, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. How so, is, uh, what, what's the price range? Because that's price. for me, for me personally, I'm Asian. Actually, this is probably the best bang that you could get out of any buck just because of the quality that it brings with the amount of money that you're paying. 5D Mark III is like one of the most famous professional cameras out there, right? Yeah. That thing actually cost $2,699, all right? This thing has quality that's very close to it, if not matching it, for, it's actually going for a little over $500 now. When you capture the image, it's flat, it's, it's a, like very, not much contrast to it. There's no color to it. It's, I mean, it's not black and white. It actually looks kind of like sepia. Yeah, 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 yeah. sepia you know, Yeah, and it's, uh, it's just this really weird looking image. What kind of person should use this camera? That's a really good question. What kind of person? Because honestly, there are plenty of cameras out there that will give you this quality. The person that would want to buy this kind of camera would be a person that's very into post-production work, uh, someone that's going to mess with it uh, in editing, someone that's going to color correct the crap out of it. It's really flexible, so basically you can make it look like whatever you want. You can make it look like straight up Hollywood style beautifulness, or you can, you can do like make it look like old film. You could get uh, a really soft tone to it that I think you probably couldn't get with like a lot of other cameras. and. And you know, or you could just go straight up black and white, and it looks amazing. So, uh, get into specifics with the buttons and like the screen. It's pretty simple. Uh, the record button's right here on top. Yeah. And then up here is play button, and then fast forward and rewind. Uh, there's a focus thing that sort of helps, but like most of the time you'd just be doing manual focus anyway. Iris. Um, there's the you know OK and the arrows so you can navigate around the menu. The menu's right here, and the power button. You can't delete anything that you've recorded on, like, in camera. Like, while you're there, you can't do that. It takes SD cards. But the thing is, it doesn't take every single kind. Like, you have to get one. You see this thing that says 95 megabytes per second? Yeah. It has to be, like, 80 or above or something in order for it to work. And the screen, it could have a better display, actually. <coughs> um, um, what lenses can you attach to it? Uh, micro four thirds is what they call it. It basically means anything that fits that size sensor. There's a crop factor on this, which means that it actually, this is going to sound bad, cuts part of the image off from what you would normally get with like a, uh, a camera with a bigger sensor. Um. Um, but the uh, lenses that I have are these two. This one's a 14 millimeter, and then this one is a 45 millimeter for anything telephoto. So if you need like really nice close-up, so you want shallow depth of field, this is the way to go, kind of thing, you know? So any chance that I get to use this one, I will, but this one's for everything else. What about battery life? It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you have to turn the camera off in between shots. I guess the best way to really show the image that we can get from Blackmagic uh, is to show it in comparison with the Canon T3i. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate it? like an 8.7 because it's amazing but it, it has so many random little drawbacks that like I can't completely give it a 9 like I really want to give this a 9 that's because... what girls say to me too <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we're gonna right there I'm almost a 9 so that's our review of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera thank you very much Randy for joining us it was lovely to have you and if you guys liked this review, please let me know any other kind of videos you want me to make. Um, yeah, or have any questions. See ya.